Today on Drawbly, we are looking at the art of Zaya Yu. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we are self-taught artists documenting our drawing adventures because art is better when shared with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And let's get into some amazing art. There's one piece in particular that when I saw, I was like, oh, I have to follow this artist. And then once I started getting in and looking at more of their art, I was just wow. like, oh man, I, I love everything about this. Yeah. They have a quality, and this is just a sketch, but they have a quality with the way they render their mm. artwork that is so like crystalline. I and love this. Perfect yeah. and beautiful. Wow. So there's a mixture of a lot of sketches in here so you can kind of see more of their, like without all the finishing touches on top, you know, more of their like shapes and design choices with this tiger, which I thought was amazing. and. You know, they do a lot of traditional sketches as well, and I wanted to include one of those, but 100%, go click the link in the description, go to their art station, and look through their art because it's fascinating. This is so interesting to see, you know, that very simple sketch before, and now this fully rendered piece to go from point A to point B. I don't know how long it takes or what it takes, but this artist has it. it this artist has it. Well, guess what? This is a lot of their earlier work. So everything that we're going through, we're just coming up to present to more and more refined and finished work. Um, I, I wanted to point out with this, like that arm, look how much curvature is in that. Like so much gesture going on. I thought mm -hmm. that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, I really like the monkeys in this piece. This is a character from uh, League of Legends, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, really? Okay, I, yeah. I, can't remember her name, Lady Luck something. Oh, okay. something, something like she's like a pirate. She's got two guns. I don't know. That's very cool. I don't play League of Legends. I'm sorry, League of Legends fan. <laughs> um, this was a, uh, you know, I mentioned in a recent artist adventure how people will often like for a finished piece that they're doing first, you know, a client, whether mm -hmm. that be card art or like something else. Typically they give like a few options, so that's like an example of one of those where yeah. it's kind of a blend between the you know, two where some of the poses are taken from both, Same, but then the expressions like, are, you know, pushing changed this and, direction, right. pushing that direction. So it's like, hey, we like B, but we want you to do this. Yeah, kind of thing. yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Which is always really interesting to see some of those decisions come through. Oh wow, look at this! I see why you said like a crystalline, a crystalline element yeah. to it. Yeah, it almost Very fractal. Feel, yeah, it almost feels like a a mirror image, mm -hmm. I, hard to describe. Crystalline maybe is yeah. an appropriate term. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's just a, a lot of really cool stuff in here that I thought you would like. There is so much happening in these pictures too, but it's all so um, refined and rendered. Like I cannot imagine how long this would take. Yeah, this is for a specific IP that I believe is Chinese in nature and I'm not sure how to pronounce it because it was a lot of kanji. So Chinese um, Coraline, got it. Uh, yeah, they all have buttons for eyes, which is um, pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. And they had a lot of work in that, and they were all really cool. Um, I like this fun decision with like the broken straps on the shoes or the undone straps. I've seen that on other pictures now that they've done, and I like that a lot. It adds a little bit of, I don't know, whimsicalness. Just a small choice. Some but... whimsy in the, sh yeah. in the shoe straps. That's where all the whimsy is in art. Mm -hmm. It just adds a little interest. Yes. Um, this is the same IP uh, with the button eyes. This wow. is an after. This is, uh, I think, before. So they're like going up to uh, this this oh. thing here, and then it's, something gets knocked over, and everything gets lit on fire, and it's yes. chaos. It's chaos. Yes, classic, classic, cursed dungeon with treasure that exacts a huge toll for you taking it. Absolutely. Oh, this is beautiful. Right? Really beautiful. At first I thought the character was looking in a mirror, um, but it's not a reflection. They're like reaching through to someone else. And this this character is like some kind of automaton, like wind up figure. Do you think so? I feel like it's- Yeah, look at the arm. It's got like, you know, oh. you can see the joints and like this, this is not the same character. These you're not the same character, right? It almost feels though like they're trying to connect with this version of themselves that they used to be. Ooh, maybe. Because it maybe. does almost look like a cracked mirror surface. They're like reaching through. Do you see oh, the okay. lines? This maybe? image is deeper than we originally thought. The composition oh. is cool too. Lots of rest in the darker areas. Yeah, this this is just amazing, amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, some of their more sketchy stuff is really cool as well. It's just like. 
this person clearly knows what they're doing, and I desperately want to get there myself. Yeah, yeah, lots of amazing detail. This is super cool. Look how beautiful this is. These ladies out painting. Yeah, their their painting quality. In my opinion, it kind of、uh, gives me like an oil painter look with a lot of their stuff,、mm. and makes me think that they have some traditional experience in、mm -hmm. that field. But、um, even even their like black and white stuff has that kind of render quality to it that is really really cool. Yeah, I love the way they drew the knees and calves there in that image. Yeah, and some more sketches just to like scatter in here, so you can kind of see some of their、mm -hmm. decision making、mm -hmm. with how they work. And one thing that I thought was interesting was I didn't see like a ton of variation in their line weight, which makes me think that they do kind of rough sketches and then paint pretty heavy on top of that. Like they're not doing a ton of refined line work. Although in this image, he does have a lot more refined line work.、Mm -hmm. um, she's a little more sketchy at the bottom, and like the hand is、cool、and the、though. handle is very sketchy. Yeah, but I like it. So they are obviously very capable of creating like more varied line work. If you look at it's just how what stage of the planning process are they in? Like just the getting it kind of roughly on paper. Oh, this is cool. I love how the characters are like in these giant mouths.、Mm -hmm, it's super、mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, because it, it's nice to have ideas of what to do with like these. You know, you see crazy reference poses on the internet all the time. You can use, and you're like, but where do I put this? But where? Put it in a giant's mouth. Um, oh, this is a piece, well, and actually, a fan it, art. yeah. If you check their art station, they actually have. And I, again, I love the render quality and the the choices and colors and everything here. It's like absolutely fascinating. But、uh, they have a lot of like works in progress on a lot of images, and this has like an original rough sketch and like a bunch of different versions that it goes through.、Mm -hmm. um, definitely go check them out. There's a link in the description. This is the artwork that like I saw, and I was like, "Wow, that is so amazing!"、It's、I like, feel like I could do a study just of like those the feet there, and the shoes too. The shoes are really cool. Yeah, yeah. I love the character's arm and like how you don't really even notice how kind of misshaped it is.、Mm -hmm. Like, like it's a very sharp elbow. <laughs> it, right, and, and like. I'm not sure if the fabric is trying to cover the part of the forearm there, but it definitely looks like the forearm kind of like really tapers in sharp. Oh yeah. But like you don't even notice it because it's not a focal point, and like the values don't really draw your attention there.、Mm -hmm. It's just like other stuff going on that like pulls your focus. Yeah, they really know when an area can just be left to rest. And if you want to know when an area <laughs> can be left to rest, click that like and subscribe button. And share your work on Instagram with hashtag Drobly because drawing is better with friends. And this is the part where we say goodbye, Goomba. If you could be any witch on a broom with a cat flying next to you, what kind of witch on a broom with a cat flying next to you would you be? A um hmm. I know,、uh, tough question. This is really. I'll get back to you on that. Thank you. You're welcome.